Lord bless you this morning. You are welcome to the Rapture Daily Devotional. Uh, we are we are continuing in on, in our series uh, tied to the managing and overcoming trials of life, learning from the life of our our brother, brother Job. And this morning, our text is Job chapter twenty eight. And in Job chapter 28, Job asked a question. The question is, where can wisdom be wisdom and understanding be found? How can it be gotten? Those were the very question that Job posed this morning. You know, it was in response to his friends who came and became tormentors and became accusers and became mockers, and became reproachers, that he was asking this question. And then uh, it's so glaring that uh, the answer was given in the last two verses of Job chapter 28. And in, in, in response to that, you know, after many, many things, you know, Job re- talking about the value of wisdom and understanding. Because he did in chapter 28, you know, reflected the value, how precious, how valuable that wisdom and understanding is more valuable than, you know, pure gold, the rubies, you know, he mentioned it all just like, uh, you know, it was said in proverb also, you know, that, uh, you know, talking about the value of wisdom. And uh, it will surprise you what the last two verses says. He said, um, the Fear of the Lord is wisdom. And then to 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 hate evil, to abhor evil is understanding. Those are very, very powerful words. And it still, you know, collaborate with what the Bible says. It says, you know. You know, for a fool says there is no God. And because of that, he lives anyhow. So who is a foolish person? Somebody who lacks the fear of God. He's a fool. A fool. If you want to know a fool, look for just look around you. Is there anybody around you who don't have the fear of God? Who lives his life anyhow? Who does not abhor evil? Who does not eschew evil? Who does not hate evil? You have seen somebody who has no fear, who has no wisdom, and who has no understanding. Anybody who, you know, that is when I look at people, they call themselves atheists, don't believe in God. I look at them, they are the greatest fools. When you see those people that call themselves atheists, that there is no God, don't believe in God. They are the greatest of every. They are they are fools. They are depraved. In our trials of life, in our trials of life, what we need to navigate our way through to overcome trial of life is wisdom and understanding, and that was what we saw Job demonstrated. Job demonstrated a superior wisdom and understanding. He was fine understanding. Above his friends and his, 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 the people around him. So what Job Job knew, they don't know. Maybe what Job knew, they don't know. When you begin to read Job 28, you see some of the things that Job you know, was uttering there. Mysteries, mysteries. Job was talking about, you know, you know, you know, you know, how how the, the earth is been, you know, is been how how good have been is being formed under the net the earth so many amazing marvelous revelations some of the things that science is yet had described today are the things that job had said insights he had great wisdom and understanding god bless job with understanding and i want to give you to understand this morning that if you are going to overcome the trials of life you are going to overcome the troubles and pressures of life you need superior understanding. If you are going to overcome mockers, if you are going to overcome reproachers, if you are going to overcome all manner of temptation to fall, you need superior understanding and wisdom. 
The tempter came to Jesus, Matthew, for Jesus overcame him. Each time he came with an argument, Jesus produced a superior argument. He produced a superior argument because he had superior wisdom and understanding. Our prayer this morning and your prayer this morning is that, Lord, give me superior understanding and wisdom. Lord, help me, O oh God. Lord, to, to, you know, you know, to outsmart my everyone around me because of understanding and wisdom. Give me great insight. Lord, help me, O oh God. Give me superior wisdom and understanding, Lord, so that I will be able to navigate my way out of every temptation. Trials of life will come. How do you overcome trials of life? You need superior wisdom. You need superior understanding. What makes you to come out outstanding out of trials of life? Like Job is, uh, is understanding and wisdom. Outstanding understanding and wisdom will bring you out, will help you to pass through trials of life and come out on hot and come out untouched. The value. Job asked the question, where is wisdom? How can wisdom be gotten? Brethren, where is it? It's in the fear of the Lord. Fear of the Lord. And what? And hating, turning away from evil. Hating, hating evil works. Hating evil deeds. If you will make up your mind to fear the Lord and refuse to do the evil thing that people are doing, distance, distance yourself from it, brethren. The Lord will coronate you with wisdom and understanding. God will decorate you. You could be, you can be decorated. The, 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 the only thing that you know, you know, you know, that really one of the major things that helped Job out in the midst of you know the 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 the, 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 the adversaries that the devil organized in his time of adversity. What made Job to conquer, to overcome, and silence the adversary? One of the key things is that Job had superior wisdom and understanding. Wisdom and understanding. And he said that wisdom is the fear of God. You know, no wonder the Bible says, began being well said that Job is a man who feared the Lord, a man who of integrity, who feared the Lord, who was blameless in all his ways. So, if do you want wisdom, then fear Jehovah. I'm talking about Jehovah. The fear of Jehovah God, the creator of the heaven and earth, is what makes you wise. Amen. Do you have you want understanding? Then distance yourself from the evil that people do. Abhor it. Don't even meddle with them. Don't even think of it. Don't even desire it. Hate it. Hate it. The Lord will strengthen us. In the name of Jesus, we live in a time that evil is so rampant. We live in a time that, you know, you know, the standard, the, 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 the Asian landmark has been removed. You know, all manner of evil and perversion and pollution abounds now. And a lot of people are getting enticed and getting seduced and getting trapped into this chronic worldliness. And that's what Revelation chapter Revelation said. Revelation said it rightly that you say you have a name that your life is saved, but you are dead. He's talking about moral decadence. There is so much moral decadence. A lot of people who say they love God, they are in love with the world. Don't say love not the world or the things that we are in love with the things of this world. We don't we don't hate them. We don't distance ourselves from them. We are not different from unbelievers. It's so pathetic. And I'm praying that the Lord will help us. That uh, as you quietly meditate, please go through it again, Job 28 this morning. Meditate over it. And then especially the, the last few verses. Meditate over it and check your life very well. Do you have the fear of the Lord? You know, it's profitable to fear God. As I've said earlier, Psalm 34 verse, 2, verse, verse 19. Say, for the angel of the Lord, they camp it around them that fear the Lord. Bible says in, uh, in Proverbs chapter, I think it's a Proverb 8.13, it says the fear of God, the fear of God is to hate evil. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Ah, may the Lord help us. We live in a time that the fear of God have eluded our generation. 
So if you want to be different, if you want your case to be different, then you need to possess this virtue called the fear of the Lord. If you have the fear of the Lord, what happened to your life is that God naturally wisdom flows. Wisdom flows. God opens the portal of understanding. God gives you understanding. When you fear God, he rewards you. Part of the reward that God gives to people that fear him is wisdom. You desire wisdom, then the fear of God is what you need to get wisdom. Where is wisdom? The, the question is, where can wisdom be found? It is in the fear of the Lord. How can I get wisdom? Fear God. How do I get work? How do I get? How do I? How do I have understanding? How can I understand things? Lord, give me understanding. You don't pray alone to get understanding. You don't pray alone to get wisdom. I mean, a lot of folks are praying to get wisdom. They are praying to get understanding. It's not my prayer alone. Do you fear God? Fear God. The fear of the Lord is the main thing. It's not my prayer. Fasting. Amen. If you pray and fast finish and you don't fear God, you will not get wisdom. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. As we ask, the Bible says you should ask of wisdom. Yes. But if you ask and you are, you are living in sin, you are living in worldliness, God will not give you. Because the Bible says the prayer of a sinner is an abomination to the Lord. God do not hear. John 9 says, John, is, that, no, is that John 9, Abi? They say that we know that God heareth not sinners. God does not hear sinners. I think 31 or 31 or so. God does not hear sinners. The Lord bless you this morning in the name of Jesus. Reflect over this. And then make up your mind to fear the Lord and issue and hate evil. And hate the evil that people do. You fear God. Yes. And also you hate the evil that people do. And then in return, the Lord will bless and decorate your life with wisdom and understanding that will help you to be able to overcome. Like Job, Job overcame all their plans to, you know, to seduce him. They came with dreams, came with prophecies, came with vision, came with words, came with mockery, came with, uh, you know, the love John to scorn. They reproached him. They did everything they want, they pleased, but Job did not succumb. He was standing Gideon. When they bring argument to try to lure Job, Job will produce a superior argument. It was actually a debate between Job and his three friends. And Job defeated them, defeated all of them. Both the wife, both the, the friends, everybody that came with that came with argument in order to seduce Job to bow. Job defeated all of them. Because Job had two things. He had wisdom. He had understanding. The Bible talk about the men of Issachar. Men that have understanding. You need understanding. You need wisdom. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. I'm asking you, God, that you will bless us, your children, mm -hmm. with wisdom to be able to navigate our way through the trials of life. We live in a very perverse and wicked generation. Mm -hmm. Lord, the wisdom to be able to succeed as we as we move as we do our businesses and our work our ministries day to day the superior wisdom to be able to overcome the tempter and all his agent give us in the name of jesus Amen. give us understanding that will distinct us lord that we will not succumb we will not bow to pressure in the name of jesus understanding you have delivered to us this morning lord coronate us with wisdom in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. Jesus yourself, when you were in this world, you lived and overcame because you had wisdom. You operated in the dimension of a supernatural and superior wisdom. And understanding that was why you were able to conquer at every situation. You were on top of it, Lord. Lord, we are praying this morning, the wisdom understanding to be on top of situations in our life, in our generation and ministries. Grant to us in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We will not succumb. We will not be conquered. But with wisdom understanding, Lord, we will conquer, we will overcome every trials of life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. Take the glory and the honor for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.